Good morning. Today we're looking at a house at 73 320 Buckboard Lane in South Palm Desert. This is in the Silver Spur Ranch area. I'm going to do a quick pan of the neighborhood as I always do. This house is a fantastic deal. I got to tell you, I mean, quite honestly, I was very, very surprised at the value in this house in this neighborhood. And as you're probably noticing, all the houses around here are large. All of them are in incredibly good shape. They're all in those uh, 1950s, 1960s, mid-century modern styles. And uh, this is like the smallest, least expensive house in a very expensive neighborhood. Places go for two and three times the price that this house is. This house is 219000 It is a two-bedroom, one-bath with a two-car garage okay, on it. Um, only a little over 1,000 square feet on a lot that would probably justify square footage that would be two or two and a half times this. I mean, you could do a major addition to this house or you could just leave it as it is. This house is in really good shape. You have high beam ceilings in here. Okay, um, I want to say it's uh, in the living room area, you're nine to 10 feet on that there, but open beam ceilings, let's call it. As you go more towards the kitchen area, you're probably in the 12 to 13 square feet, or 13, 12 to 13 feet high. You've got a little dining room area. You've got an open kitchen. This here is a nice living room. I do want to mention the fireplace does not work. It is just decoratively installed. It does not have a flue and proper venting or anything of that. So don't look at that as an operating fireplace. What I do want you to notice, though, notice the views off the house. Now, these are going out the front door, but I'm seeing mountains and palm trees and blue skies in all directions. This house has an incredible view. Another thing worth noting about the view, here we're looking at the backyard now, there are no power lines to interrupt your view. I can see the city of Palm Desert down that way. Just out through these gates here, and those rock gates there, those like ancient things, open with your own private pathway into, uh, the, Ironwood, whoops, into the Ironwood Park. Okay, I'll get over here where I can maybe zoom to it. Right down over in there. Can you see that? That's like a kid's jungle gym down there. There's a huge green belt area in that park. There's restrooms and stuff. And it's not a park that's like heavily used. It's like a very great little private park that only around this neighborhood gets used. And it's surrounded by a very large, it's about 14, 15 acres the entire space, but a, uh, a manicured desert landscape with a manicured green belt area right in the middle for the park itself. So people will walk their dogs. I mean, you'll see rabbits out there and squirrels and stuff like that. It gives you a really pristine little piece of nature in the middle of the city. It's just a beautiful idea that the city of Palm Desert did. But um, look out here. You've got the mountains off in the distance. Okay, you've got the city of Palm Desert. You've got more palm trees. If we look to the left, you can see the mountains over here. Okay, in South Palm Desert, the Cahuilla Hills. You've got a backyard that's big enough for a pool, a gazebo, double the size of your house, whatever you want to do, or just leave it natural. Easily could do that. Now, um, some of the things that are worth noting is that in the garage itself, the garage door right now does not work. It is in place, but if you want it to work, you're going to have to do that. Um, you have a little closet here on the outside for it, and that's all that is, a storage closet, probably about five feet long, two or three feet wide. You know, use it for some of your gardening supplies so they don't take up your closet. The um, air conditioner is really new. Okay, this is, I mean, it might be brand new. It might be a year old, but, I mean, no more than two tops. It's in great condition on it. If you didn't want it right here on the back patio, it could easily be moved. You would have to rerun these pipes over to the side of the house, over here. Now, you will probably want to add an enclosed fence over here, okay? so that you can seal off the backyard. There are one or two gaps in the fence, but not much. Most of your fences around here are in great condition. You may want to do something to increase the height on those stone back gates there and to fill in the gap, like over in that corner, you've got about a one and a half foot gap between the chain link and your neighbor's uh, brick wall. Over here on this side, you have cinder block. But all in all, incredible. This backyard here is really, really nice. Let's go back in and finish taking a look at the house. Because we had briefly taken a look at the living room area as we walk through here. It does have carpet. 
I can tell while it's been cleaned and well maintained, it is older carpet, and you'll probably want to replace this. It is usable. It's not like disgusting or anything like that. It's just I can see some of the spots that have been cleaned, but I would bet in a short time of living in it, you would see the spots return how they sometimes do. The kitchen is original wood. This is stained teak, I've been told. Oak, I'm sorry, stained oak, I've been told. It's nicely stained wood. You do have original Formica counters in here. Everything is really clean and operable. You do have a nice double sink, okay? Not super deep, but definitely functional. It is a little bit narrow, okay, through there. That's only about two and a half feet between the fridge. I guess older fridge were maybe a little not as deep as this one here is. And you do have kind of smaller size, but double Dutch ovens already built in, which is nice. You do have additional storage area up over the top. You have a good amount of cabinets in here. Okay, so in a smaller kitchen, but still not like tiny, tiny. I mean, you've got enough room in here to really operate. you got a four-burner gas stove. Okay, it's, it's very good use of the space of the kitchen. You do have two people that can sit at the bar stool and open up into the dining room area, so you can still entertain. It's good that way. Oh, and uh, back this way here, you do have a dining room area, able to comfortably fit four people, and a chandelier hanging up top. And at this table, you're enjoying the view again. House was really designed with the view in mind. Now, this is a laundry room. Now, laundry room, again, has been made to fit more modern appliances. A newer heating unit. Okay, right here, heater and AC unit. Okay, so you have that. It works into the ductwork. Newer washer dryer here. I don't know if those come with it, but they do represent the size of this room. Because it means that you have a narrower path here. That's about two feet. Because each one of these tiles is about a foot, and you've got two of them there. So maybe a nudge over two feet on that, and then your door going out back. As a matter of fact, I've been told that the dryer was never really installed right with the venting, which wouldn't have taken much. You just punch through that section right there. You've got an old size vent there, and then you could have it permanently vented outside. Then you have another door out back. Um, personally, I see this as a good renovation if you wanted to add a, a place to do a renovation for a second bath. So if you wanted to do that, because right now it is a two-bedroom, one-bath, to me that could be a bathroom that could go with the master bedroom. Over here, the master bedroom gets the maximum view. You've got a large double slider. You've got the high beam ceilings there with the open beams on it. Okay, in this bedroom, you're going to wake up. You're going to feel exuberant. I mean, this is a bedroom that you're going to go, wow, I get to wake up to this every day? This is nice. Okay. you got plenty of room for a large bed. I believe this is a king-size bed. Um, it's not a California king, or I think it would be a little bit longer, but that is a very wide bed, what you've got in there. You've got... Uh, Large closet built in, that's probably about 10 or 12 feet of closet space. It may be hard to show up the definition of the closet on here, but it is a large closet there. Um, you've got a guest bathroom over here. It appears original, although this tile work on this here makes me think that it might have been redone sometime because the grout work looks so new. But if it was redone, it was done in a style very much true to the time. I mean, this is a mid-century modern home in Palm Desert that is in incredible shape. This same home in Palm Springs, I mean, it'd be 400 grand. And even in this neighborhood, if there was a few extra square feet, it would be that. Um, you do have a mirror there. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. You got a single vanity sink. You've got a couple of uh, cabinets down here. Do stuff. The toilet behind the door. A little snug there with how it fits in, but everything does fit. Um, hot water heater in here. That's a newer hot water heater. Somebody has taken the time to replace the hardware that is in this home. Those are all very positive things and expenses that you do not have to take on yourself. Uh, just a storage closet. Okay, That's got a lot of stuff in it. Over here we've got a linen closet. And then over here we have the guest bedroom. Not a huge bedroom. This one here is probably about uh, 12 by 12 or so. But you do have the uh, open ceiling going through it all again. And you have nice views coming off the front. Even from this bedroom, you're looking out at the mountains and such. 
So it's just very nicely designed to take advantage of views. I'm going to finish up here with a look out at the views again from the master bedroom. And this is it. If you would like to have a very clean, very nice 1959, 1,020 square foot, two bedroom and one bath for just over 200,000, this is a deal. This is really a deal. Anyways, this is Eric Meeks. Thank you very much. Have a good day.